Okay, now guys, so let me show you now how I put my meal together, okay? So I'll take a piece of meat. I have a piece of chicken breast here. This one chicken breast would be enough to serve us. And I'm gonna cut this chicken breast in small pieces. Very small pieces. Now after I cut the chicken up in small pieces, I'm going to cut it in cubes, right? So this is how I cut my chicken up in small pieces like this. So that's how I'm going to cut my chicken up. Now after this chicken is cut up, you could, you know, portion it out the amount that you would need for your family and put the rest in the refrigerator. You can put it in the freezer until you're ready to use it or just leave it down if you're going to be using it the following day. If you're not going to be using it the following day, put it in the freezer, of course, and take it down when you're ready to make dinner. So let me finish cutting this up and I'll show you the next step. Okay, now, so the chicken is all cut up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put it in a bowl. And over here, I have a little bit of seasoning, our purpose seasoning that I, already, that I made. And I am going to just mix this up. You don't have to add a lot of seasoning, a lot of spices to it. This, this one I just add to it is some herbs that's been grinded up and add a few things to it and this is good enough right here here i have my potatoes that i cut a little bit earlier this is a bowl of water now you have choices you can take these potatoes you can put it on the stove and steam them a little bit or you can also put it in a pan and you know just sweat it down a little bit with some oil or you i am going to put it in the microwave for six minutes while I am um, taking care of the chicken, okay? So that's just another way to do it. So these are already clean, of course, before I cut them up. So now I'm just gonna put this in the microwave for six minutes and then I'll start on my chicken. Okay, so this is my wok right here. I'm going to put a little bit of oil in here and I am gonna throw the chicken in here. I have the stove lower, so let me put the stove back up. Make sure your stove is on high and spread your chicken out. Chicken, of course, this is cut small, so it's not gonna take a long time. So just cut it up, just, you know, cooking on one side and then just quickly flip it on the other side and then we're gonna add our vegetables to that. Okay, guys, so then when you turn your chicken on the other side, so that both sides can cook. And just go ahead and flip it. Okay guys, so after you've cooked your chicken for a couple minutes, we'll... then remember our bag of vegetables that we prepared a little while ago. We're going to take our vegetables and we're just going to dump our vegetables in there. And then we're going to take two spoons and we're going to go in here like this. Are we gonna leave that and let it just sweat down for a couple minutes? You just keep stirring it every once in a while so the the um, bottom would come to the top and the top would go to the bottom. Take a plate, guys, and just put a plate over it for a few minutes just to sweat it down for a little bit. Okay, guys. So the um, Potato and the pumpkin is cooked. I put it in the microwave. It took a little more than six minutes. It took 10 minutes all together, but as you can see, it is cooked. So let's go over to the stove and add this to our vegetables. Now I'm gonna take this off. Hot. 
I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up. Add my potatoes to that. But I'm gonna add a little bit of soy sauce. I'm gonna add a little bit of teriyaki sauce. I'm gonna add some garlic. I'm gonna add a little ginger. Add a little, oh, I think I add too much. A little bit of hot sauce. I think a little bit may have gone in too much, but that's okay. And I'm gonna mix this all up well together. Turn my stove off. And everything in here is all done and ready to be served. Guys, this took less than 10 minutes. Once all the vegetables and everything, everything is prepped. Once everything is prepped, it, the longest part is prepping everything. But once everything is prepped and you put it on the stove, it takes less than 10 minutes. So this is go ahead now and serve this up and taste it and tell you what it tastes like. Now let me go ahead and put this all over here. And this is how you make, this is a meal right here that you can come home and make in the evening and it does not take that long at all. Less than 10 minutes as long as you prep, your, prep everything on Sundays. Okay, so we're all done and that did not take long at all. Look what we have here, guys. We have our protein, we have our vegetables, we have some. We have everything here that you'll need for a healthy meal. So something really quick and easy. As I said, you don't have to use a butternut squash, you don't have to use a potato. You could add spaghetti to this, you, noodles, you can add um, rice to this, you can add different things of your choice and kind of change it up a little bit. And you know, just prep ahead of time and you're okay. Prep this on Sunday. I have it for during the week, okay? So let me go ahead and taste it and tell you how it tastes. And um, you don't have to put a lot of spices to this because you have a little bit of soy sauce. I put some teriyaki sauce to it. But you can go and find sauces that you like and um, you know, put stuff of your choice. You don't have to put necessarily what I'm putting. I want you to put things that you like. Okay, so let me taste it and tell you. It's a piece of sweet potato. Let me taste a little piece of the chicken. Mm -hmm. So you can eat this. So guys, you can make this. And you have a lot of different textures going on there, the crunch, the different flavors. You have your chicken, your potato, whatever you put to it, and it's really easy. Guys, I hope you can give this a try, and I hope you like it. And this might be one way to get your kids to eat some vegetables. Thank you so much for joining me. I had fun, and I hope you guys had fun joining me as well. Don't forget to share the video, like the video, and subscribe to the video. Um, you can leave me a comment. I love to read your comments. Let me know what you do in the evening when you get home from work. If you start making a big dinner from scratch or if you make something simple as this. Thank you so much. I had fun and I hope you had fun as well. Until next time. Bye-bye.